How's it going, guys? What's up, everybody? Bailing Out Life here. Here with 802 Dipper. We're trying out some... Oh, shit. Trying out some French military rations. Let's see how they taste. For, I guess first we're trying out the drinks. They got hot cocoa, tea, and uh, coffee. Alright, and if he gets his ass out here at some point, what are you doing? Get more cups? Is it one of your military ration things? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Your long well, bring the cameras in and we'll show them all the tricks that we freaking got. Well, I'm doing it this way so we have a full frame. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's a full frame with both of us in it and shit. Hey guys, how's it going? No, I got you. <laughs> I just got all the drinks set up. I uh, got hot chocolate, you got uh, coffee, tea. He and me. And a kind of a sports drink for electrolytes. Um, this meal we have here, which is uh, the French RCIR, which is reheatable uh, meal, stuff like that. It's like an MRE kind of type. It's like a 24 hour ration, it has all in total 3,600 calories. Yeah. And the whole, in the whole uh, MRE. This is my first kind of. Reveal look of this and yeah, the, uh, uh, sports drinks. Sports drink. No, the beer does not come with it. Oh, nice. Older, the cool. I thing. highly doubt people in France drink PBR. Well, they but they probably drink beer, but not the U.S. beer, which is not nothing compared to theirs. Is yours? Oh, yours? It's uh, like a lemon citron kind of thing. Not kind of this. Is that how the this right here? We're both trying to eat coffee. It's gonna be a lot hot. I already started. No, I know. I'm doing it because I really don't feel like burning my tongue right now. Ooh. That's actually not too bad. It has like a rich aroma, rich flavor to it. Hmm. Usually I'm not, I'm, I usually don't like straight up coffee and this only has a tiny little bit of sugar in it. But, huh. mm. French, you guys know how to do your coffee. Even for instant coffee, that's pretty dang good. I like that. Don't need half and half. To be quite honest, you only really need the sugar. My no, opinion. Not really, because I don't, I can't really taste it. We should have saved it for the tea, because tea's really bitter without the sugar. Yeah, I was just, I just thought of that as well. So. Well, actually, the coffee's supposed to be bitter too, but that's actually not bad. And to do it without the sugar. That's not bad. Last. Cocoa or tea? We'll do the energy drink last. Yeah, because that seems all. I had this in here. Kind of, uh, this is regular tea, and you got a uh, mint green tea. Where's that one? Right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to try that. The mint one? I'm just going to take a spoon. I'm going to try the mint green tea with no sugar, which you could probably do with sugar, but... Let me see that. Like a napkin. Oh, yeah. Cool oh, yeah, thing yeah. is, though, it comes with napkins. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> good. Yeah, it's steeped pretty good. Smells very minty. Has a kind of reminds me of uh, Wrigley's uh, mint gum. Not bad. Don't even need doesn't need sugar for this one either. Ooh. I mean, I would prefer a little bit of sugar. Yeah, a little sugar would uh, would taste Imagine good. Imagine this is like an iced tea on a nice hot day. Yeah. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this into this measuring cup, that way you can have some too. And I 
I got right here, regular, the regular tea, which smells like, um, you know, sweet teas from the south, honestly. Just tastes like regular tea, to be completely honest. I'm not that much of a tea drinker, I'm more of a coffee drinker, but... I like tea, but only if it's like made into like iced tea, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Most of the time. But that's not too bad, though. Yeah, this just tastes like regular. It just tastes like something you would make iced tea out of, you know? Yeah. Like a southern kind of... It has like a southern sweet tea taste to it, just about the sugar. I want to make some real, like, southern night. You I know what this is actually? What's up? What? The sports drink kind of tastes, smells like a very watered-down lemon powery. It does. Or, like, if you made frickin' uh, lemonade out of, like, that country time stuff, you know, that powdered stuff? Yeah. A little watered down because you only put half the powder in one full glass of water. Yeah, the half and half I did, I measured it out. Right, but. No, it's pretty good actually. It's not bad. It has a weird aftertaste. Hmm. It does. Wow. It took a second for that to kick in. Oh, yeah, I could pass on that. Oh. I mean, it's alright. I'll pass on that. I'll drink the coffee and the tea for sure. Almost forgot. Hot chocolate. I know, I like that actually. Oh, that has like a rich, dark flavor to it. It's almost like they, almost like a mocha, because it kind of tastes like it has coffee in it. Yeah, but, man, definitely different than what you regular, <sighs> regularly would yeah, have. It's definitely not the sugary. You can, yeah. I think it's dark chocolate too. It has like that great. dark aroma to it. I don't think it's I don't think it's milk chocolate. I think this is getting uh, I think this is dark chocolate, like darker than what our dark chocolate is. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn good. I like it. <sighs> Shit. Mm. So far, so good. good for the drinks, guys. Just gonna put the rest of this on you and then try something. What are you pouring that in the coffee? Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Pour a little bit of the hot chocolate into the coffee. And see how that tastes. Not bad. gonna try that last I'm not too sure how it's gonna be it's called it's a form of a carrot soup carrots are good um so wait, wait, wait do you want to just uh do you want to clean up do you want to clean up some of the cups first yeah all right so all right. Whatever, then whatever we're not gonna keep uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking the coffee yeah but uh whatever you're not gonna drink just dump out and let's go put the cups in on my uh, uh sink I'll see you guys in the next clip or uh, yeah, get where set you... up for the dry stuff as we all get set up for the main entrees and stuff like that, clear it off and clean up. We'll be back. All right, everybody, we're back. We're uh, just cooking up the food. How's that starting to look, bud? Looks pretty good. It's starting to smell good, too. Yes. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got the little Espen stove right there. I oh, can't see it. Here, you take that. How's it going, guys? It's a different. Yeah, I got that all cooking. 
Beautifully looking good, looking good. Still works pretty good. I right, excited back down. Just want to show them and up close about it. Try one more. Try a little bit of the biscuits. Cereal biscuit. Cracker. Cereal cookie basket. You got plain. And we also have uh, chocolate. Where the hell did that shit go? What? Look at that strawberry jam shit. It's right here. Got a strawberry jam for the biscuits. Pretty good. Here you go, bud. How's the jam? Tastes like regular jello. I didn't taste any different than the American stuff. This you really can't fuck up fruit and sugar. No, you can't. Well, let's grab yours. I think that's all set. Nothing thicker than a regular, uh, regular American cookie. They have the meals done. One of them is. Should be done anyways. Not bad. I like that. Everyone will grab this off the plate. Um. You had two forks, didn't it? Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Should be. That's one man meal. How many heating taps does that come in? Six. Okay, so you're one of, one of the, yeah, I know, that's, that's the reason why I said to do this outside. Well, that's why it's, that's why I suggested here, because I know you ain't got shit for a lawn. Mainly, it, mainly this uh, ration, guys, mainly works better for one person. Why? For the sake of the video. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna that part for you. Okay. Now, the next thing we're gonna try after this is the tuna. Dude, I can sit here and eat this all day. I'm just about to smell it. Uh, uh, Ooh. That's actually really good. That smells good. Man, this is good. I'll take a big pot of that. I might have to order more of the of this French one. They say that the French make some good MREs, and they apparently do so far. Not so much on the uh, powdered drinks, but the tea is good. Needs more I sugar. Imagine the um, I can imagine English ones would be okay. Mm-hmm. Um, like British or English, whatever you want. To Which call I have it. one of those on the way. And uh, German, I don't know, so so. I can imagine that would have like something in it, like sauerkraut. I wouldn't want to eat a Swedish one because that'd probably have like canned herring, and I wouldn't eat it. 
Actually, I looked at Sweden and stuff like that. They have different forms. They have goulash and stuff like that. A lot of different. They're 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 traditional home meals. And then yeah, already forms. That's what I'm saying. A lot of their traditional home meals in Sweden is uh, a lot of like canned fish and stuff. And I ain't eating it. I'm gonna try this uh, sugar cookie thing powder with uh with the the jam. But that jam, guys, that thing is oh. good. Without thinking, I accidentally looked the outside of that package. I don't really care. I don't give a shit, dude. Try it without it. Not bad. That's like a, just a regular chocolate kind of cookie. Mm. Get the fuck off me. Try it with the jam. Mm. Here, put that over the side. You like that? That was good. That was damn good. Oh, it is. Uh, I, I split it up. Uh, it's right here. The jam, trying it with that. I took a bite of it without it. Tastes like a chocolate animal crackers here in the U.S. It does kind of taste like that. And what's this one supposed to be? It's a chocolate biscuit cooked cracker. They call cracker biscuits over there. Yeah, I'm trying it with the jam now. Pretty good. I still got my coffee. Put a little hot chocolate in. It's good. Mm. Mm. It feels like we're sitting down for tea time. What? So it feels like we're sitting down for tea time in Britain or something. <laughs> I mean, literally, we just ate tea and now we're eating tea, co tea cookies. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Yeah, um, behind the scenes, we're off camera, we had a dud for a uh, MRE, no, for a uh, fuel tablet, which I guess will happen. But it's probably cooled down right I think that's it right there. Mm-hmm. Pick it up, show it to the camera. That's what lights the uh, fire, but that one was a dud. Yeah, that was a dud. That was good. I'm going to pick that up, so I'm just leaving it on my porch. Oh, I will. Mm. Just want to finish this up and start on the next meal. So. Mm. Oh, God. The next thing we have is tuna and pasta and vegetables. Don Pomes de Terre. This guy speaks French better than I do. Oh, thing, my video just cut off because of my battery. Nope. Oh, well. Well, uh, do you want to just wait like 20 minutes, let your phone charge for like 20 minutes and then... Yeah. Uh, see you guys in the next clip.